Hello everybody. In this video, uh, I'll be showing you guys how to make a burger stand in Minecraft. So yeah, let's get straight on into this. So some materials you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need white concrete, you're gonna need mangrove sign, oak trap door, uh, birch fence gate, uh, white stained glass pane, um, you're gonna need a cauldron, you're gonna need a campfire, and I don't think I can get that. Campfire, um, oh, what else are you gonna need? I mean, you are gonna need a bunch of stuff, but uh, I guess I guess you can go ahead and grab the end rod and the quartz slab. We are still going to, we're gonna need a few other things, but this is all we can grab for right now. Uh, so first things first, you're just gonna do three white concrete and do three in front of it. And then choose a side that you're gonna have like where the worker is gonna be. So let's say I want it to be this side. You're gonna knock out the very middle block on that side and you're gonna uh, also knock into the ground by one, put a campfire and then put a cauldron above it. All right, uh, and then uh, where you have the cauldron, you wanna go back and then go right and then that's where you wanna put a white uh, concrete and then you wanna go ahead and put an end rod and a quartz slab up top like that. Next, beside the uh, concrete here, you want to do two white stained glass, just like that. And then at the end here, uh, where you have the glass, you want to have two open birch uh, fence gates, like that. And then you want to have oak trap doors uh, at the ends here, like this. And then between the trap doors and the fence gates here, you want to put mangrove signs, just for simple detail. All right, go ahead and put these away. Uh, I still have the materials from the other stand, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to need an uh, empty map. You're going to need an item frame. You're going to need a detector rail. Let's see, you're going to need a iron pressure plate. You're going to need string, and then lime, red, yellow, and orange carpets. Oh, and you also need brown carpet, but we don't have enough room, so we'll wait on that. All right, first off, uh, you wanna put detector rail on the left side of the cauldron, on the right side, uh, pressure plate. So basically to break this down, you have where you fry the burgers. This is where the, the fries are, I guess, fried. This is where you, I guess, would cook the burgers, fry the fries, and then this is like supposed to be like a little uh, storage thing. You open it up and there's like all the toppings and stuff in it, that's what that's supposed to be. I was gonna originally put a sink there. That's why this is here, but um, I guess you really don't have to have this block here. Uh, if you don't want to, but um, if you do, then you would put an item frame and an empty map there. And if you don't, just delete this and put another uh, end rod there. And you know, you may you may not want the glass here then, so you might want to maybe do block glass or something. But yeah, that's just if you don't want this uh, block here for because that's that's there was going to be a sink here originally. That's why I have it there. But all right, anyways, uh, string is going to go around the. Um, end rod just like this and smoke can kind of get into the way so just be mindful of that uh, put orange carpet on the corners like this and then everywhere everywhere else you just want to do lime red yellow and then brown it's kind of meant to be like the burger colors so the orange is meant to be the buns and then we got brown for the patty green for lettuce red for tomato and then yellow for cheese um, Feel free to use any other colors, but that's just the closest I could get to like a burger. You can even do, you can honestly even do just white and red and kind of make it classic. I think that would honestly be better than just actual burger colors. I don't really think about it, but but yeah, um, and I think that's actually it. Now we just got to do the banner. We still have the banner to do, which isn't always fun, but, um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to make the burger banner. It's pretty simple, honestly, so... Uh, you're just going to need to get yourself a green banner, like a dark green banner. Uh, obviously, you're going to need a loom. And then, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And then you need red, brown, orange, and white dye. And I don't think you need yellow. Nope, you don't. All right. Uh, so go ahead and uh, go into your loom. Uh, throw the green banner up. Put white, or sorry, um, red dye up. And then fill the top half with red, bring it down, place the uh, red dye with the brown dye, put it back up, and then the brown dye wants to be the uh, this one right here that is like the very middle like line, All right? You want to put that down, and then you want to bring it back up, and then replace the brown dye with orange dye, 
and then you want to have orange dye at the top and the bottom just like this if i can bring it back up there that'd be nice just like that so those are going to make the burger buns and then obviously you're going to want like a border around it so this will be kind of like a plate sort of thing and then that also just kind of ties everything together and there you go so that is your burger banner pretty simple again you can do like or I don't know why I said again, but you can do like two of these or whatever you want. But um, but yeah, um, that is it basically. Yeah, that's the whole banner or the whole stand. Uh, well, the whole banner and the whole stand done. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys did end up enjoying this tutorial. If you did, smash like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, also, turn on post notifications so you don't miss when an awesome tutorial like this one comes out. Um, and uh, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.